How is the U.S. handling the surge in COVID-19 cases? CGTN's Asya Nandar discusses this with Dr. Rishi Desai. He is the chief medical officer for the health education website, osmosis.org. Is opening up and we are seeing a spike um, in cases in a number of states. President Trump has downplayed um, these rising numbers, suggesting the increase is because of more testing. In fact, he tweeted, if we stop testing right now, we'd have very few cases, if any. Sure, testing, of course, is part of it, but it's not all of it. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, as you test more, you're gonna find more, that is true. Um, but, but there is actually more disease out there uh, today than we had uh, in weeks prior. And that's because people are essentially uh, I think generally fatigued and tired of wearing masks. They're going out much more than they were uh, back in uh, May and even more than in April. So I think generally people are not adhering to the behaviors that we know work. And so as a result, it's not surprising to me that we're seeing an uptick in cases. It's real, uh, meaning it's not just a, an artifact of just more testing like, like, uh, like he was suggesting, but that it's a real increase in cases. And what we need to do is, is take that seriously because the vast majority of Americans have not had COVID-19. Most people are vulnerable. We're not even close to herd immunity and, and aren't going to get there. And so we need to, to be really thoughtful about this, just as we would have been a month or two ago. And in addressing uh, reporters earlier, he also said vaccines. He mentioned vaccines, uh, saying even without it, COVID-19 goes away. Where do we stand with vaccines? How soon do you think we're going to have one, a safe, effective one? And without a vaccine, does this go away? No. And I mean, even looking at your face, your, your face kind of uh, when, when your eyes opened up because you're incredulous. And of course, you should be. Uh, that's ridiculous on its surface. So the, vir the virus is not disappearing. It's going to be around and it's not going anywhere. You know, what we need to do is recognize that we need a vaccine. It's not going to happen for some time yet. You know, I think the earliest we're likely to get a vaccine is still, you know, I've been saying this for a while, and, and really most people have been saying this for a while, like Dr. Fauci and others, uh, we're looking at 2021. And so I think between now and then, we just have to do our best to maintain social distancing. I recognize that this is a mantra that, you know, has been around for a while now, and, you know, beating the drum gets tiring. But, um, but the fact is, we have to still do it until uh, it gets to a safer point uh, in kind of middle of next year, I would say. Dr. Desai, let me finally move on uh, to China. Uh, Beijing is seeing an uptick in cases as well. After almost two months without a single new infection, um, what's going on there and how is this spreading in Beijing? Yeah, you know, they as a country have done a couple of things. They've aggressively locked down their, bro their borders. If anyone comes in, they have to be in quarantine for a couple of weeks. They have QR codes on their phones that they use to kind of figure out who's symptomatic, who's not, aggressive contact tracing and, and uh, isolation of anyone that's sick. So they're doing a lot of the things that you need to do for any pandemic. And even then, you can get cases that sneak in somehow um, because there's so much disease in the world. And so this is going to keep happening. You're going to keep seeing stories like this. And really, the question is not, you know, how did it happen? Well, it happened because most of the world has COVID-19 problem right now. But how do you deal with it? And they're dealing with it with aggressive isolation. And, uh, and until we get a vaccine, that's really the only way to deal with this, to be honest with you. And so I think right now, between now being June and next year, we just have to con continue beating this drum and hope for a vaccine that works.